Why do we hate? We hate because we're taught to hate. We hate because we're ignorant. We are the product of ignorant people who have been taught an ignorant thing, which is that there are four or five different races. There are not four or five different races. There's only one race on the face of the earth, and we're all members of that race, the human race. But we, but we have separated people into races so that some of us can see ourselves as superior to the others. We thought it would work, I guess. It hasn't worked. It has been bad for everyone. But it's time to get over this business. There is no gene for racism. There's no gene for bigotry. You're not born a bigot. You have to learn to be a bigot. Anything you learn, you can unlearn. It's time to unlearn our bigotry. It's time to get over this thing, and we best get over it pretty soon. I'm an educator, and it's my business as an educator to lead, lead people out of ignorance. The ignorance of thinking that you're better or worse than someone else because of the amount of a pigment in your skin. Pigmentation in your skin has nothing to do with intelligence or with your worth as a human being. It's time to get over that. You say that all whites are racist. Can you ex expound on that, please? Any, any white person who was born, raised, and schooled in the United States of America, if you aren't a racist, you're a miracle. Either that or you decided to educate yourself. Because education in this country is about white is right, brown's all right, Black's got to stand back. Yellow's mellow, but whites, we, we educate in a way that says that white males have done all the adventures, have made all the adventures, have done all the discovering, have made all, and everything that is good and has been accomplished has been accomplished according to social studies, which is actually anti-social studies, by white males. It's a lie. But we do that in order to maintain the myth of white superiority. The myth of race has to be maintained at all costs in this country because if white people have to give up the color of their skin as being something that makes them perfect, what do they have left? I want every white person in this room who would be happy to be treated as this society in general treats our citizens, our black citizens. If you as a white person would be happy to receive the same treatment that our black citizens do in this society, please stand. You didn't understand the directions. If you white folks want to be treated the way blacks are in this society, stand. Nobody's standing here. That says very plainly that you know what's happening. You know you don't want it for you. I want to know why you're so willing to accept it or to allow it to happen for others. Mm -hmm.